So, some have asked, what am I doing today here, making all this mess? Well, what I'm going to do, or I should say my wife and I, we're going to, we're digging out a fish pond here. So there's, uh, right there is going to be where my water wheel is. I had one, but it's all worn out, so I'm going to make a new one. So we'll situate this after we're all settled. We got the, another little pond right there. I'm going to, I've had it for years, so I thought, well, I'd incorporate it into what we're doing here. So I'm going to let the water run down into it and then through some stones and down into the big pond here. So as I said, well, I shouldn't say it's a great big pond, but it's big enough for what we need and it'll look just nice. So this is how I'm going about it. So first off, all the sides here, I'm what we're trying, the wife now, she's making them all level. So we want to make it all nice and straight all the way across, all the way around. So when I put the liner in, it'll lay right there. The liner, it's going to go in and then two feet out over the edge. And then we'll cover that with some nice uh, paving stones or something. We haven't quite decided yet. And that'll hold that. And then all around the edges, we'll make, uh, we'll make uh, like a, a nice garden and uh, incorporate all the the plants that she's got, we'll put them in there. But anyways, let's say we just make sure this is level across. So I put a level on there and right now that's pretty darn good. So we'll just keep that going straight across all the way around. Once that's done, and uh, we're all set. At the bottom of the pond, I, I want the, it to be a little bit higher over here, I'll show you. So <clears throat> right here, where the water runs out into here, I want this here spot to be up a bit. Then it'll be go down a little bit. Then I'm gonna put a little shelf right across the, across the middle here, right across the middle. Maybe raise it up about that much so I can maybe plant some water lilies. And, and then this here hole at the end, being where it, we're up here in the north, pretty cold area and she freezes. So I'm gonna dig this down to at least three feet, three, maybe four if I can. And then that will be good for the fish to, to, so they won't freeze in the middle of, in the winter time. So that's the plan. Now we'll see what happens. Anyways, we're gonna carry on here. I gotta do some digging in the mud, <clears throat> which I'm sure everybody like to see. But we keep everything, you know, like <clears throat> if you look at this, like that was just an old stump. But, uh, you know, if you look at it, there it is. So it's just an old rotten piece of stump we took out. But if we set that down, we can, the wife, will, you know, she'll make that into something beautiful. I'll wash it all off and then we'll set it around and she'll incorporate something in the, in the, in, in the midst of that. And it'll look really nice. Set that aside for future use. Get rid of this here. Nice, clean, shiny two by four. So my wife don't mess it up. <laughs> Gotta be careful what you say nowadays. Mm, Supper is, uh, might not be as good as it should be. So another thing what I'm going to do too, I want to smooth the sides off. I'll just cut that all off nice. I like the, I don't want the, the tarp to go right over and straight down. I want it to kind of go on a, a nice bevel, nice smooth bevel. Slope. Slope, I should say, yeah. So I'm going to do that. The good thing is too, we're in the clay here now. So I'm just going to take that clay I can just smooth it. I gotta cut it down a bit. There we go. There's just another stick. I need them uh, pruners of mine. I need them pruners. What? Pruners.
as I make use of this nice wet dirt. There's a stick right here, so if I don't cut this off, then when a liner comes in and hit that right there, maybe put a hole in it. So we'll just take that root off of there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, well, just straight out. Then we'll put the edge right on it, whatever we could. I think two feet out, and we'll bring it out, and then right around, then down. I actually want the edge straight so that it, what we're putting on the edge overhangs. Yeah, well, we can put up to it. So, yeah, maybe that might be a better well, idea. We'll slope down. Okay. Yeah, well, we can do that. I have to cut her all out then. You see, a woman's got ideas sometimes. Occasionally, they're right. Not too much. Smaller, right? right. Yeah. Just need some dirt on the other side, I guess. Huh? I can take some of this and put it over on that side. Yeah. Well, should be. It's kind of make it straight out. We can bring it straight out to here, and then yeah. straight out to there, and then bevel it down. Right. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. So, what we'll do is we'll make a nice straight edge along here all the way around, smooth off the edge, and then just make it straight, and then we can put pavers all the way along the edge, let it overhang in the pool a little bit, which would kind of look nice. Right. Kind of nice if I hit an underground spring here. <laughs> I wouldn't have to do anything. Have to the water. Well, we'd have to put a hole in it or something. I think that's as deep as I'm going to go there. The whole secret is not to get any get any uh, sharp things sticking out or stones or roots so that when you put the liner in you don't puncture a hole in it because once you put that water in that water is pretty heavy. Mm. 
you're gonna need a crowbar to pry me out of here. So we got the the liner for the pool all lined up there, and then we got another smaller old tarp there. I'm gonna put it in the bottom so that uh, just in case something, just a little extra protection to protect the liner. But it's a good thick liner, so we shouldn't have any issues with it. We got her all dug out. And now all we have to do is get my feet muddy. Yeah. I just pulled it right over. Huh? Got to get it right way. I had it crockeyed. You want the brown now? Huh? Yep. So that the brown's up and the green's up. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna. You go that way. I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's just narrower. There you go. So you go that way. I'm gonna put the opening up that side. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Pull it your way a bit more. No, you, you got that thing to go in. Uh, the what? Pull, pull it up yours. I, I don't want it up. I just want it in. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah. I think we'll just try to keep it like that. Get the right and Where's that rake? You want it up underneath this one? Well, I thought over the bank there to protect that bank from washing out. Okay, then. I can pull it. Good. Just leave it like that. Yeah, that looks nice. If we can get the liner in that good, we'll be happy. See that or not? I'm not, I'm not done with it. See, we got that all. Just laid it in the bottom in case there's uh, little stones or something I don't know about. Pretty mucky there, but I got pretty well got it all cleaned out. So now we're just going to rake the sides all off nice. Lay that liner on there, and then we'll be on to the next step. So the water wheel will be here, running down into this little one and then into the big one. Should be pretty nice when we get it all done. All it takes is work and a little know-how. The whole secret now is to keep that wind from coming. Eh? As long as that wind don't come. Right. <laughs> they all seem to have wind when they're getting 
Yeah, I think we gotta fill this up a bit. Pretty low here. We could make that so that it goes water, that'll be the low spot, the water will run out. <sighs> Maybe. No, I don't want it there. That's too high there. This is the low spot here, I think. I think. 